guys, I'm Layla. Welcome to Raid Lore Stories. Today's Lore Stories can be for the new Fragment Champion, Stratagos Island. Literally just put into the game as of today when I am recording this. Brand new Lore Story. Let's check it out together. Strategius Island is considered by some to be one of the finest commanders Arabia has ever produced. He's never attempted to disabuse anybody of that belief, for Island's keen military mind is matched only by his pride. Island first rode to prominence as a leader during the campaigns to establish high elf colonies on the western coast of Peltos. As a junior officer without distinction, he commanded the defense of the White Tower, an Arabian coastal outpost attacked by the orc warlord Gore Bloodhand. The garrison was hugely outnumbered, but through the careful husbanding of supplies and precise deadly sallies through a hidden magical port in the tower's flank, the defenders kept the enemy at bay until relief arrived. The victory saw Island promoted. Soon he had command of his own army during the campaign to secure a safe route from the western extent of the Valdemar Strait to the furthermost northeastern outpost near the Thundermount, driving out a confederation of orc clans and Orgrin tribes angered by the Arabian encroachment. Tactically adept, Island lured the oft numerical superior enemy into attacking a set position and struck their flank with a hidden reserve. Eisen's abilities soon saw him commanding all high elf forces on the Peltas coast. While the elf presence there remained somewhat scattered and tenuous, under Eisen's direction, it held on. No mere backline general at the Battle of Fellwater, Island joined the counterattack against the Orc Surge, doing brutal work with his two-handed broadsword, Eagle's Talon. While at Dawnmoor, he led the reserve to shore up a breach in the line, his shining helm and white cloak acting like a beacon for the near-overwhelmed High Elf soldiery. Iceland's successes in Peltas had done much to restore Arabia's reputation after a series of disastrous campaigns against the Dark Elves in Durham Forest. Queen Eva of Arabia bestowed upon him nobility and the role of chief military counselor to the kingdom, that of Strategeos. In such a role, he would not only command the Arabian armies, but was expected to play a part in the High Elf Court, advising in any matters relating to the military or potential enemies and guiding the queen's overall strategies. War had made a hero of Iceland, but after being recalled to Arabia, he grew idle. His successes in the battlefield might have earned him renown, but the world of Arabian politics proved to be a different kind of test altogether. Used to the obedience of his soldiers, Eisen struggled with the underhand tactics and shifting loyalties of the court's members. Nevertheless, his record of military success still demanded respect, and he steadily amassed followers and political allies. He earned a reputation for bluntness and honesty, one which gained the invaluable favor of the queen herself. Other nobles with former military service or connections to Arabia's armies also rallied to the former general, increasing his influence. He learned to not take courtiers at their word and to adapt and apply his strategic abilities toward political ends. Isla had always been a proud man, but as he grew into his new role in the Arabian court, his arrogance increased. He was popular with the Arabian soldiery and with many of the common people, and soon was being courted by a number of different factions. He came to refer to himself as the White Eagle, an unsubtle nod to the great elven ruler, Basilius Ronas, who had stemmed the demon spawn tide during the First Great War. Ultimately, his arrogance was his undoing, for his opponents were able to convince others that his bluff honesty was a cover for his true desire to claim the throne. How true claims of Iceland's planned coup were remained a point of conjecture. It seems unlikely the thought of upsuring Arabia's queen had never crossed his proud mind, yet the belief of some that the armies of Arabia were just one order away for rising up an armed rebellion to put the White Eagle on the throne are also surely exaggerated. What is certain is that Iceland's opponents acted swiftly and decisively. The queen was convinced that Iceland was a threat to the realm, and after a trial that Iceland claimed was rigged against him, he was banished from the kingdom. Since that day, Iceland has traveled and held a noble without an estate, a general without an army. Though summarily stripped of the title of Strategeos, he still refers to himself by it and claims that, when he eventually makes his return to Arabia, it will herald the rising of his armies and a long wait succession of the White Eagle to the throne. All right, what do you guys think of this story for Strategos? Aizen, like I said, brand new champ. Yeah, it seems like we have him as very much kind of like a military commander, but it's so interesting how they're saying like he's trying to overthrow Queen Eva and take over the throne. Drop us some comments down below what you think of this lore story, and thanks for watching.